Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a bit of a different one. I'm going to vlog my basically walking around. So I'm going to go on a bit of a walk with my dog Ari here. Don't mind her, she's just sniffing away. So we're going to go on a walk and start picking up some of the rubbish that we find around the area. Because I saw a post by Simply Living. I love her posts recently on Instagram, they're so good. So it inspired me to go around and start picking up rubbish around my local area. Because I've been looking a lot into volunteering and things about beach cleanups, doing bush care and things. But I thought in my spare time, why not go around and pick up some rubbish while I'm just walking my dog. So I've got my trusty bag right here. It's one of those biodegradable ones. That you can pick up from the shopping centre, so I'm going to just use that and then wash it out later. And just like this can be like my rubbish bag that I take around with me everywhere when I go walking and things and collecting rubbish. So I'm going to start off by cleaning up our creek. So cleaning up this creek, this one just here. So it's got a bit of rubbish near it. I feel like waterways seem to carry a lot of rubbish, so I thought this would be a good idea to help start cleaning up the creek for all the ducks and things that live near here. So, yep. Yeah. So then once I've collected it all, I'm going to separate it into different like categories of what can be recycled, what needs to be sadly thrown away, and what soft plastics can be recycled. Because apparently soft plastics you can recycle. So I'm going to separate that and then I'm going to recycle it later on down the track. But yeah, so first I'm just going to go around and collect it all. So it'll be about like a half an hour walk, but I'm just going to go around and pick up some of the rubbish around here. So you guys can feel free to come along with me. Oh, that's all right. All good. Very good of you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna stop there. It's a pretty good rubbish haul. A lot of it's actually filled with bricks. I'm so surprised at how many bricks and plastic bags are down here. It's like whew, a lot. There's lots more to do, but I think I'll come back each week and just slowly pick away at all the rubbish. Like every little bit helps, well, I think. So I'm gonna drop my bag back at home and then finish walking Ari around our little neighborhood. And then I'm gonna come back and sort it out into categories and show you guys how it goes from there. Oh, and this really lovely man came to stop, before, like as you might have seen before, he came to stop and say how good a job I'm doing, which was just so nice. You meet the nicest people when you're out. So like, my heart goes out to him, he's so sweet. Ready to go, Ari? Yeah? Let's go. So this is my little trash flat lay of what I collected. Some of it's still in the trash. They're the tiny little like small bits of plastic and rubbish that I found. So I was just going to leave them in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the bricks and we can just use that to build more gardens with. Like the one I have out the front just in the corner there. As you can see I've used bricks over there. So I thought I'd use that in future to make future garden beds with. For this I'm going to simply just wash and let it dry out which I'll show you guys how I dry it out later on because it needs to be washed and dried if you're going to recycle any soft plastics and soft plastics simply mean things that you can scrunch up that is a soft plastic however curbside collection doesn't often collect soft plastics to recycle so you have to take them to either red cycle which is I'll link it here somewhere on the screen you can check them out on Instagram they take soft plastics and recycle them which is awesome but some of these are 
un unretrievable so I will have to throw some of those out however at least they're not in the creek the most surprising thing I found was actually this shoe here I was like who lost a shoe they've got just, just one shoe it was so funny and these I'll simply just wash as well and put them into the recycling bin but yeah these are my little collections for today so it's a pretty good haul got some quite a lot of things out of that creek which is always a good thing I'm really happy about that so this is actually a new year's resolution that I've started to build the habit of I want to start doing trash walks at least once a week just to go around and collect rubbish from my local area is something that I'm really passionate about helping out ecosystems and environment so yeah this is like a new year's resolution for me so like I thought I'd show you guys one of my trash walks for the year <laughs> just to start off strong and help build that commitment to it so sorry about the noise my neighbor is just gardening over there so these are the soft plastics that I've already washed. These were from last night. Some of the food that we had was packed in plastic packaging, but this is one you can actually recycle. So what I've done is I've simply <laughs> washed them and then just let them dry on our clothesline just to make them dry nice and quick. And then I'm going to go and take them to either Red Cycle or to Coles or Woolworths because they actually have a place where you can recycle as you can see there you go they actually collect these recyclables in that bin at the store and recycle them which is awesome so they recycle them for you so that's yes so yeah i'm going to do that with the rest of my trash so this clothesline is eventually going to become a trash line so that is my video for today i hope you guys liked it if you want to see more videos of this in the future please comment below if you enjoyed it or not or if this inspired you to maybe go out and collect trash as well i always find that so just empowering when I hear other people going out and helping out the environment by picking up some trash even if it's like that take three movement where you take three for the sea so take three pieces of trash every time you go to the beach it's always that little bit just helps it goes a long way today's shout out goes to Kinga thank you so much for commenting and leaving such a beautiful message on my turmeric hair video it was just so beautiful and I was just like ah my heart melted I was like oh, thank you so much thank you to everyone for watching my videos it means the absolute world to me I'm so so grateful thank you so much oh and if you want to see more videos or vlogs like this just feel free to check out my playlist to the side here and where I share similar videos to this one if you want to see more I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you in my future videos bye